Hey everybody, I wanted to share some happy mail I got in the mail today, as well as a haul. So I want to start with these um, keychains I got from Amador in the happy mail. He sent me some other items um, that I'm going to try out, and he actually sent me three of the keychains, different colors that he has. Um, the pink, the yellow, and the beautiful blue. Um, so I'm just showing you this on my notebook so you don't have to look up my messed up desk um, blotter. Um, but this is so cool because I just thought they would be cool to have. And thanks for accommodating my number choice there on the ones you had available. That's actually my lucky number, so that's the reason why I asked for it. So thanks, Amador, for the happy mail. I appreciate it. Um, yours should be coming tomorrow, I guess, to you. Um, the other thing I got was some paper tray ink stitching dies um, from somebody who is selling theirs. Okay, so this is the needle book. It goes, I think it goes this way. Um, or maybe not. So this is the needle book. Um, and it has all the pieces to make like um, the stitching out of felt or fabric, I guess you could do it on too. Um, and then this one is called Floral Clusters. So this is more of a, your detail sort of um, dies. You can add flowers to anything. Um, this piece back here lets you attach the flowers to it. So um, you would run this on top of some felt and then you would cut these different flowers out out of different colors and you could sew this down to the actual pattern in the back. So that's how that um, works and you could you know you could do that on this particular um, needle book or whatever you have like some other things I'm going to show you so I got a haul from Paper Tray Ink it is their new release and so I purchased some new stuff and some old stuff so first up they do have a new ink color it's called Weather Vane um, so this matches some cardstock they already put out earlier this year um, I got some dies and they're in no particular order. Um, this one says wishing you a lovely birthday or something like that. Um, but you can, it's all connected, but you can cut that apart if you wanted certain words out of it. And then this is the new Shapeshifter Circles, number three. It's the fall one. So these this, this works together or separately, so you can cut them apart. The outer shape actually cuts the shape out. The inside is just a preparation of the circles, and then this here is uh, a detail die that will cut out these um, leaves um, and acorns for the fall, but it will leave it attached to the paper. So, um, Paper Tray has a number of these. Um, they've been doing these since last year, and this is the latest one that was released for the fall. Uh, they have the small scallops. Um, die and there's two pieces here so you can use them independently or together and they um last month they put out a large and a medium scallop so this is the third piece for that and they all work together uh i don't remember the name of this oh this is bold borders i believe so you get the for you and then this border that it'll cut with fall leaves in it i'm sorry about the glare but there's nothing i can do with the lighting i have right now um, I got this Thanksgiving set, and I don't normally craft for, for the fall or Thanksgiving. Um, the reason I got this was more for some of the words that are in here, because wishing you a very, and you can use that with other sentiments. I'm, we're, we're so grateful for you, from our family to yours, to a gracious host, hostess, you know, you can use that for a lot of different things, like especially if you take a um, gift, like a hostess gift, and that's the size of the stamp. So that's the reason why I got this. this is a $5 set, so it's very useful for a lot of things, not just Thanksgiving. I got this gratitude one, and there is a, there is a matching die for this, but I did not pick up the die, and it cuts the word gratitude out. So um, different sentiments there. Um, and then I got this autumn, um, forest floor and this one I got because of the mushroom in it. Um, I did get the dies for it. It's probably easier if I show you this picture. Um, the, the mushroom is a, a layered mushroom. 
you can see it here and you got acorns you got some leaves the veins for the leaf and then a label and some sentiments so that is the continued forest floor series this one is called seasonal um berries seasonal borders autumn so this one has um, a couple of different things it has the stamp and it has a stencil in here to help you line up to create the border and um, it's a layering die uh, sorry it's a layering stamp as well so you can do these little um, individual or um, stacked up into a border sort of thing and I did get the die for that as well so that I got and then um, this one this one's called um, many blessings so um, it's got a die with it and you you notice it cuts the negative out and this is the stamp here so this one can be used for a lot of different things. It doesn't have to be just used for the autumn or the Thanksgiving time frame. Um, okay, now this one. I wasn't going to get this set, but I thought, oh, I'll be kicking myself if I don't. So I purchased it. Um, this is uh, simply gorgeous, and it makes all these different little gourds. And you don't have to use them in fall colors. Remember that. If, you, if you're not into fall colors, you can always stamp these as like a shabby gourd i've seen that done um in decor stuff um, but this is the um stamp set and look it's like a long one so they're starting to like lower their prices on their stamps and trying to keep them to this sort of size because it's more affordable and then there's the dies for that and then i got this one which is called you made my day let's see if i can just put it down like that it'll probably be easier to see it um, so you can see the sentiments there. This one I can use all year round. That's not just, again, that's not just a autumn thing. I did get this text and texture leaves. So this is the new, um, layering background stamp. And look how that and that look already without it even being, you know, together. Um, there's the size of it and, um, there are sentiments included. So that'll be fun to use. Um, so I got some stitching dies. These are not new. These are all their older ones that I didn't have already. I picked up this, um, small stitched alpha. You can see how small that is. I have another alpha, but it, it cuts the letters. Um, and it's bigger than this. So I thought I'd pick this up just, you know, to have it. This, okay. So this one, and then there's two others I got that kind of go together that one is scallops um this one is the circles and there's also the circle bases so this is um part of their hoopla series now what this is meant for is actually for embroidery hoops so you can actually decorate an embroidery hoop so it cuts the circles in different sizes and then it also pierces the holes so that you can actually um add some decorative items um, and then this is a base that fits the size of the circles that are in here so you would have like a scene or something like that and it cuts the base of the circle or however you want to use it and then the last thing here this fits again the circles here and you can make like a scallop um, border that goes around the circle see how it fits it fits exactly to the circle um, and then you can use the individual pieces too. So these kind of go to all together and then let me move this out of the way. I'm running out of room. Um, this one, okay. I finally got the rectangular tray, the correct one that you actually do stitch because the other tray that I was showing was not the stitching one. It was just a regular, regular tray. So I finally, um, corrected and got the right one. I'll probably use them both cause I can use the other one for paper and this one for felt. So you can see here that it creates the tray and these are the pieces to do the corners. Now I did get the trim die that goes with it. So this is for making the, the sides and stuff like that. So that's an extra decoration piece. Um, and then the last die that I got from paper tray in my release order was the coin purse two die. Again, it's a stitching die. 
Um, it makes a little coin purse, and there's different videos that show um, people making this. There's a little clasp. These two are details to go in the corner of the purse. And then there's a, um, you know, a flap that goes around it. So that I got. And then the last thing I got from Paper Tray from this release was actually the new Ocean Tides um, Bitty Big pattern. This is a different, this is an interesting color because it's, it's Ocean Tides, so it's kind of a green color, but it has gray in it to me. So um, this is um, a color I use sometimes for Christmas. So anyway, that is my Paper Tray ink haul, and that's all I have to share today in my video. Talk to you guys soon. Bye for now.